Starting today's video off in the uh, good old junkyard. This right here is my favorite yard of all time. Yeah, this place is actually a scrap yard. Not really, not really a pick and pull. You get some really good prices, but uh, let's see what they got. <laughs> Man, it looks like they really downsized on the uh, the cars that they had in the lot. Must have crushed down a lot. Even this section here. Oh, man. Oh, my. Bro, I think they crushed a few of them. Yeah. The reason why I love this yard so much is because they have, they have just a bunch of these old school, like, classic cars here. I've been coming here for, like, maybe the last two or three years. And, yeah, I've just been getting my parts from here. Oh, man. Don't tell me, dude. I think they got rid of them, though. Y'all know that I'm uh, building up my Datsun right now, my 280ZX. Dude, they had like four of them here. There's no way, I gotta, I gotta find them. I have to find them. But yeah, they just have a bunch of old cars here stacked away in the back. I can't even begin to tell you like what models these are. Behind this trailer, they got a couple more. Man, take a look at that. The first time I ever came to this yard, I was like, just, I was shocked. Like, I can't believe they have all of these classic gems here just rotting away, you know? But yeah, we're just gonna take our time here and kind of go through every single one of them. Or not every single one of them, but just whatever catches my eye, we'll take a look at. I was mostly looking for my car, but man, it looks like they crushed them. But yeah, just check it out, man. They got all these old school classics. <laughs> what? <laughs> Y'all, they have this old school fire truck. What kind of salvage yard has this in their lot? That's insane. Yeah, voluntary fire department. Cool little custom cab here. I guess that's how they did it back in the days. Oh man, god damn it. Y'all, they had a nice looking Z31 here. That is real unfortunate. Y'all, I'm gonna keep looking, y'all. I'm just hoping and praying. They used to have a bunch of cars just stacked up, rows by rows. Kind of looks like they whittled down on their inventory. I mean, it's understandable. They would make more money of just crushing cars and selling it off like that instead of hoarding them away back here. Whereas nobody even comes to pick par parts off of. Got some bikes back here. God damn it, they got rid of all the Datsuns. Now I did see a couple of Z31s over there stacked away, but uh, we'll check that out later. Oh, uh, that sucks. I drove an hour out just to find it. It is what it is. We'll just have to take the L for today and just check out some cool cars that they have here, like this. Now, like I said before in my previous videos, I'm not keen to all the co old classic like muscle cars or just classic American cars in general. So if y'all want to let me know down below in the comments what this is, go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get a 360 of this thing. What a sick color. Pretty sure back in the day that thing was in pristine condition. Ah, this shit's hot. Ah, that motherfucker's hot. <laughs> Oh man, no engine, just a roller. Whoa. All right, before we get to the Z31s, let's just take a look around. Look at this. This thing is sick. Wow, why would you want to junk this? Might as well part it out, you know? It's got like a custom frame on it and everything. This thing is sick. FTR 1200. Some carbon fiber parts, got some shocks. Custom exhaust. Man, the thing's crazy. All right, guys. Even though they don't have the Datsuns here, they still have the fair ladies. Woo! Look at this, man. Doesn't this look familiar? I swear I've seen this in some type of anime, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it looks like we got the older brother of the Devil Z. They just have this thing stacked up on top of each other, huh? That's crazy. Right here, we got a Z32 and... Two Z31s. Let's take a look at these first. Oh man. They just got these things sitting out here in the Texas sun. Oh no, no. This kind of looks like a rat's nest inside of it. Now I believe this one is a 1984. Yep, that's what it says right here. Check this out, y'all. Oh, that's hot. Man, blue on blue. What a crazy combo. It's got that digital dash that we all know and love. Even though they're a pain to work on, especially if it goes out, better off going analog. Still got some nice tail lights on it. Some pretty salvageable parts on it. Uh, not really on the inside, but you know how it goes. 
I think once I start working on my car, I'll definitely be back here to take some parts off. But I mean, for the most part, we're kind of just looking around now. I was especially looking forward to uh, um, snagging some Datsun parts, but man. Guys, they had like four 280 ZXs here stacked up in a row. I can't believe they got rid of every single one of them. And along with those four Datsuns, they had some older generation ones over there too. They had a 260Z and I believe a 280Z back there. But um, I guess for the gist of this video, since I won't be pulling any parts, we're just going to take a look around at the yard and kind of see what they have. Especially because it's like 100 degrees out here. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just have a nice fun tour. This is kind of like some urban exploring or something like that, you know? <laughs> Woo! What is this thing? Man, it's all rusted out though. That's, that's unfortunate. I'm not too sure if this one's worth repairing. What is that? Mercury? Is that what it is? Mercury? It's got the logo right there. All right, let's move it along. We got this cool thing right here too. Blast from the past, man. Look at these headlights. Yo, that thing is so retro. Am I saying that right? Retro or is it just old school? Imperial. All right. Got some sun damage or it was on fire maybe, huh? Woo! Okay, let's go ahead and shut that. Y'all, is this Doc Hudson from Cars? <laughs> Ranchero. Another old school. Not sure what old body this is, but yeah. I'm sure y'all can make it out in the comments. Now over here on the other side of the lot, they got a ton of more stuff. We're just gonna walk through these real quick. Man, look at this. Ooh, looks like someone took the front clip of that one. Oh man, y'all look at the paint job on this one. Got a nice little Ford here. <laughs> Yo, that thing's sick. Anything cool on the inside? What about this one? Guys, what logo is that? Subaru. Oh man. I think y'all are gonna like this one. They have this one hidden away in the corner. I thought it looked pretty neat. Woo! Oh man. Yo, the thing is hot. Texas, man. I like the aftermarket bucket seat. Oh, and guys, I just found out these are Thunderbirds. These two right here? Yeah. Man, the tail ends of these things are, they look crazy. All right, guys. I'm not gonna lie, it's just way too hot out here. I'm gonna go ahead and book it home and uh, I might splice this into like two videos. I might go visit a different junkyard a different day. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this little yard right here. I'll see you for the next one. Check out what this guy picked up. Got himself a new project. All right, y'all, here we are at the next location. It's another beautiful day in Texas. Finally, it's not triple digit heat. Feels kind of weird, you know, it's been hot every single day of the summer. And just to see it cloudy like this and I'm not burning up. It's just, I don't know, it feels weird at this point. We're out here at my local yard. Uh, this one's about like 15 minutes away from my spot. 
We're just gonna check out what they got today. I already spotted something really cool just walking in, so uh, we'll check that out later. But for now, we're just gonna walk through this lot. Yo, check out this purple flame, dude. That's such a sick graphic. Kinda wanna learn how to paint that. Oh, I think this is vinyl. No, it can't be, because look, it fades into the paint. But yeah, that's pretty sick. Fun fact about this yard. This is the yard that first blew me up on the internet. This yard had a blue 280ZX. And uh, yeah, just, you know, one of my videos on TikTok blew up from that, so. Right off the bat, I'm not really seeing anything too cool though. Hopefully we can come across something. Uh-oh, look at what we got here. Got another Arc8. Looks like we got an automatic with paddle shifters. This one doesn't look too hot. Yeah, not really worth getting anything from here. This one's pretty beat up. Nonetheless, it's a cool find. This thing is like absurdly blue in the sea of cars. This one just sticks out like a sore thumb. What a crazy paint job. Is this an OEM color? I feel like it would be. <laughs> oh man, they even paint matched the interior. That's wicked. It's like we're walking up on a cool little pickup. Got the instruction manual inside of there. Check out this Benz right here. It's pretty sleek little two-tone. Are these rare, y'all? Or rather, are these like worth anything? The body style looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a, it's got like a racing body line. It's a coupe. Yeah, it looks really cool as a two-tone as well. Oh man, it's got wipers for the headlights. How baller is that? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind rolling around in one of these. Oh, look at what we got here. Oh, this guy bought it for almost 10 grand. 10 grand just for it to end up here in the junkyard. <laughs> Whoa, we got a new Lexus here. Oh, look at the paint job on this. I think they, um, what is it called? Yeah, it looks like they plasti dipped the entire car. Oh, these aren't one of the newer ones. I think this is an ES. Yeah, yeah, it's an ES. To be honest, you don't really find these, like the newer Lexuses in junkyards, despite how common they are on the road. You usually don't find those things here in yards. Got a Hyundai. Inside. Oh, stick shift. It's kind of spacious in here, huh? Oh man, looks like we got a charger up in here. Damn, this one's fucked up. How y'all feel about that, y'all? Oh yeah, this thing was definitely part of a takeover. It had a really cool paint job on it, though. It's kind of like pearlescent. Oh, it's not a paint job, it's a wrap. Ah, got a nice headlight here. I wonder how much these go for. Usually don't see these in junkyards as well. I don't have road rage. You're just an idiot. <laughs> Back off or I'll deploy your airbags. Yo, this guy's crazy. <laughs> Mustang and a Ford Focus. That's automatic. Oh God. More Camaros. I feel like you can find one of these in every single yard. Man, this thing looks badass. It's like a, this thing's like a American JDM car. <laughs> it's like a cross hybrid between a Corvette and like a 240. If I was into muscle cars, I would definitely get one of these. But yeah, I, I just feel like this is a car that you would see in every single joint. Yeah, like every yard has one of these. What do y'all think? Guys, what's a car that you find every single time at a junkyard? For me, it's one of these old Camaros. Oh, this thing's a Pontiac. Man, it's got like Knight Rider vibes. Got some old junk over here. Whoa, what's this thing? GMC. Oh man, all rusted up. Would've been a nice project. I got a whole school bus here in this yard. <laughs> I always like watching videos on YouTube of like people converting these into just like travel buses. Those are always fun to watch. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this yard. It's kind of a hit or miss with this one. Sometimes they have cool cars and sometimes they don't. This time around, they don't really have anything like worth going crazy over, at least not me. But I do have a certain car that I saw up at the front and I believe that'll be the star of the video. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Man, oh man. We got another Z31. This is the first time I've seen one at this yard. Man, dude, this thing was clean too. It had a nice paint job on it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness, bro. Hopefully the driver was okay. But dude. 
Whew. That's a real bad one. Let's get a quick 360 of it. Yeah, I feel like this one was garage kept. But like a nice weekend driver. Cause man, inside and out, everything looks so clean. And so many good parts that you could take from this thing. The spoiler, and then you got the tail lights. These are in these are in mint condition, dude. And check this out, y'all. Out of all the Z's that I ever come across in junkyards, I never see the center caps in the wheels. Let me know if this is OEM, because uh, that's really cool. I might want to take that for myself <laughs> as a little memento. Also still has the engine inside of it. I believe the junkyard is going to be pulling that out soon. But yeah, it's all there. Did I forget to mention that it was stick shift? Five speed in there. Also accompanied by the digital dash. Yep. And look at this. All these electronics on the steering wheel, that's pretty neat. The owner here bought it with the uh, pretty luxurious package. Let's check out the trunk. For the most part, it's got pretty much everything in here. Yeah, when me and my friends mistakenly took apart the entire interior in the hatch, we threw everything away in RZ. So, um, you know, if this thing is still here by the time that I get to working on the Z, I'll probably come back to take some of the interior pieces since mine was red as well, so. This dent looks so crazy. Like the whole, fr the whole car is just shifted. Kinda looks like Prism Mike's 240SX. Let's go ahead and give this thing a little prayer before we leave. All right, John, I'm about to sell this thing off, so. I guess I might as well take y'all along for the ride. Got a buyer that I'm about to meet up in like 20 minutes. And surprisingly, he wants this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, as much as I love driving this car, owning this thing in Texas, I'll tell you what, AC is a must have. <laughs> yeah, just having no AC kind of just ruins the experience. But yeah, there's that, and plus I have no power steering, and I'm just kind of tired of tackling that issue. I figure it's time to let it go. You know, I'll use the funds to put that into the dots and, you know, move on to better things. But I mean, like overall, I, I do love this car. They're always gonna have a special place in my heart. I think when I get the proper funds, I'm definitely gonna dip into the Mazda scene again. Yeah, it's just right now the, the RX-8, it's just not for me at the moment. I don't really have any plans for it, so I might as well just get rid of it, so. <sighs> yep, here it goes. I guess we'll get one last 360 of this thing. I mean, it don't look too bad. I did add the lip kit on it and then added a spoiler. It's got that classic case of clear coat peel. If any of y'all are like in the market for an RX-8, they're not bad cars. Definitely a fun driver car. Just now getting home and uh, realized I forgot to film while I was selling the RX-8. But um, yeah, it's all gone now. Don't have possession of that thing anymore. Now that the 8 is gone, I'll pretty much be focusing on getting rid of this thing now. <sighs> yeah, it's got a it's got a few problems I gotta tackle. Run it in lip mode again, so I gotta scan it for codes and see what's popping up and address that. But I mean for the most part, I think it should be a pretty quick sell anyways. But yeah. Man, that Z31 that we found could definitely use it for some parts. I think mostly just the tail lights and maybe some interior parts. My tail lights are over here, it's all cracked up and it's got holes in it and everything. Let me know if y'all enjoyed that video. Uh, I'll see y'all for the next one. Appreciate y'all watching. Peace.